Hello guys, and today uh, we're going to re-image this classroom. So we've got 30 machines in here, and over time they have to be re-imaged because they get slow, uh, new software is included, and we want to basically refresh them and make them a little bit better for the students to use. Now I've gone ahead and set up an image, a master image, uh, from one of these computers. I've taken it, I've sys prepped it, I've loaded it to Windows Deployment Services and then imported that into Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and then created a task sequence to deploy that out. Now today we're going to go around all these machines, all 30, and re-image every single one, one at a time. Um, I'm going to speed the video up for the purpose of efficiency and uh, I'll come back to you once we're maybe halfway through and just give an update and yeah, within an hour and a half this whole room will be done and I'll have all the software included and they'll be fully functional, we'll log them in and test them. Stay tuned. Okay, first system, here we go, let's get cracking. Got to have a good cup of tea. Oh, that's nice and hot. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've done is we've gone around, Paul and I, we've gone around every single machine. There's 29 in here, uh, not 30. One is downstairs for imaging. I made the image on that, I need to return that. Uh, but the same principle applies. We've went, went around each machine, pixie booted it with F12. As you can see, they're all on MDT now. They're actually imaging through Windows Deployment Services and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. We've selected a uh, boot win uh, called Light Touch, which is MDT. We've booted them into that. That then lets you see your task sequences and as you can see, we've typed in the computer name, we've given it um, an OU to join in AD, and every single machine is now imaging. You can see the front three here that we've started first, are obviously finished, um, or finishing now. The very left hand side one here is um, actually waiting on the acceptable use policy for one of us to hit enter, so it can actually log in for the first time. What I'll do is now, we'll sit and wait for us all to get to the stage. When they're at that stage, we're then using Pyro, which is a remote management software that we use here, to uh, log them all in in one go, um, activate Windows, which will do automatically as we reboot them, um, activate Office when we launch it for the first time uh, with a KMS system, and then we'll just change the screen resolution and things like that just to check if things working. Log on as a student, log on as a member of staff, check the policies applied correctly, check the machines are all working fine, check the printers there, uh, check the internet works fine. There's lots of things to check, uh, and when we're happy, we'll shut them down and we'll move on to the next room. The seven rooms, exactly the same as this, all tiered. And uh, we we're aiming to do a couple of them this week, uh, just to try and help with the performance of the systems a little bit. What? <laughs> Bug life.
Okay, so so far so good. The PCs are imaging nicely. Uh, as you probably saw then, I was just uh, up there. Um, one had failed, perhaps one of us had clicked on the wrong image or perhaps um, there was a network issue or, or something with that machine. Uh, it's okay now, we'll just restart it, it'll carry on as normal. Uh, as you see the left hand side, they're sort of progressing nicely, they're on the setting up stage. Um, most of them on the sort of uh, setup is getting ready, setup is installing devices, pa unpacking the OS. All right guys, so what you're seeing here are 29 imaged computers, the custom made image for these particular type of computers. They include all the software required for the lessons that go on in this room, in these rooms. And from here on, we're gonna use Impero to control all of them and make them all do as, as one effectively. And uh, Log them in as a domain account next and uh, just check that things like internet work, the home drives are mounted correctly, etc. etc. So I'm going to use my surface, as you can see here, to go ahead and do that. If I bring this in closer, you should see 29 out of 30 on IV7. As you can see, all machines are there. If I then go to live thumbnails, We'll then see all machines in that list and select them all. I'm going to use a mimic script to tell them all to do the same thing. So we've got run mimic script here. I know you guys won't be able to see this resolution on this monitor is extremely high. Um, but I'm going to send the enter command and send script. Now there was one machine over here that is on the control delete screen so I've tested that machine just to check that they're all okay. Uh, and they'll all copy that the same way. So as soon as I send the enter command on here, send script, you will see they all do the same thing. All 29 machines are now logging in as the local administrator account, account that has been previously designed uh, and set up on this machine. You can also set up a local admin account and password through MDT. So that's Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. As you can see, they're all preparing the desktops, as you see there. As you can see, MDT is then sort of finishing the process off. The task sequence is saying finished, and the white box that is appearing on the screen now actually says success, uh, no issues found. So I'll just bring you into one of these here. So the one in front of me, it says here, operating system deployed successfully, no errors, no warnings reported. So all the machines are now going to restart. As you can see, all 29 computers have rebooted in a synchronized sort of fa uh, fashion and manner. Okay, they're all going to log in as supervisor now. So I'll log in as the main supervisor. The next thing I've done is sent slui.exe to the um, command line checking that Windows is activated on every single machine. As you can see, they've all got the Windows authentication box up here. Activation was successful. Every single machine says activation was successful. They've got the genuine badge on the screens. Not a single one's missing. They've all activated and contacted our KMS server, which has the KMS key, and this is just the client setup key that activates with that against it. The next thing I will do is go ahead and launch Word. Or an office product. As you can see, Office is launched successfully. Okay, as you can see, every machine has opened Office successfully. I'm going to tell them all to run a website. I want us to go to the BBC's website. And fingers crossed, <laughs> fingers crossed, every machine will be able to go to IE and access 
websites without an issue. There should be no authentication issues with our filtering system. The majority of them are okay, We've got full internet access. There's a couple, well there's one over there, but after a reboot it'll solve that, that'll be fixed, it's not an issue. Um, they're all okay, they're working great. So I'm gonna go ahead now and restart all the machines and then go ahead and lock on as a student just to see how they behave, check they're okay, things like that. Wait for more to check in now with Impero. I'm gonna go check in on here and then go ahead and tell them to log on. Okay. They'll all log in as a student now. Hello! And as you can see, all the machines have now logged on as a student account successfully. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I um, wanted to show how we image and how we sort of uh, get the systems up and running here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's one machine at the back there. I've just, I just put the wrong credentials in by accident on that one. But um, yeah, they're all fine. Uh, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes, something like that, to do a room of 29. Uh, it would be quicker with different scenarios. Uh, maybe if the image was smaller, uh, network speed was faster, so the back, back plane speed. But apart from that, that's it. Please like and subscribe to me guys, and again thanks for watching. And uh, there's many more videos to come in the future, so stay tuned, and thanks a lot for watching. Take care for now then. See ya! It's your fault! <laughs>